All right, all right. We have game one here. Group J semifinals. Uh, fourth age took out. Took out. Wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta get this right. Soft yeah, ice cream. Light. Light versus dark. Good versus evil. Orc versus undead. But yeah, fourth age taking out soft ice cream to be here, and be was our second seed of the group to begin with. So already performing well within the group, and let's see if he can perform well once again, going for that fast DK build. Looks like fourth age probably going headhunters or fast tech, but probably headhunters. Do see the warm mill now. I don't think anybody's ever not played Headhunters <laughs> against Undead in like the last year. Damn. <clears throat> so, it looks like they're playing the full meta, which is fast DK, aggressive creeping at the start, and then probably gonna see that Dark Ranger second for Mr. Bear. And our fourth age will wanna go straight for that tier three. I do think sometimes Undeads go for fast fiends too, though, right? Or, or do they always go fast DK? Actually, on this map, you are correct. Fast Fiends is increasingly common due to the fact that you can take your green camp and your shop very easily. I'm personally a big fan of it myself. I like having two Fiends right away. It makes it a lot more comfortable to deal with Wolves, for instance. But of course, you do have a slightly slower start as your hero takes a while to come out what we've seen kind of evolve in the asian scene is that people will get this fast here and instead of rushing straight across to the undead base which is moderately powerful in some scenarios they'll actually creep level two before they start harassing giving them that kill potential with the chain lightning extra mana extra hit points all that good stuff this is largely because they can creep level two before the Death Knight gets level 2, and then you're at a level advantage in that kind of scenario. But it's also something that works really well against these Fast Fiends builds you're talking about, because in that case, a level 1 harass doesn't do anything. They're just going to be sitting in their base with their Nerubian getting a large number of Fiends out. Yeah, that can always be a problem if you, if you as the Orc, come straight across, having not scouted, and then you realize the Undead is not even doing anything yet anyways. They already yeah, have two Fiends. wasted. Wasted that whole opportunity. Okay, yeah, we do see a bit looking for a critter and not finding any. He did not actually have a scout acolyte and just going to throw out the coil, try to creep that with just his DK, it looks like. And that's the last refuge. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna take a bit and. Might cost him the third coil now that the Farseer is here. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> he did actually get the last hit, but so close. And that had to. A lot of mana. Yeah. It is so costly for just one creep, one item. Uh, and that's why personally I like the fast fiends instead. Because, you know, if you do this fast DK, yeah, you can secure an item, but. Then you're kind of sitting here at half health and wandering around for a while, no fiends out. Yeah, the first fiend's only just now going to pop out, and with two wolves as well as headhunters out, or they should be fine, but the ensnare actually goes off onto the headhunter. Some good damage coming out here. There will be one coil available if that headhunter does drop too low. And finally, the second ziggurat coming up. Oh, might be able to get this troll. Oh my, he misclicked the wolf! Oh no. Minus 75. <laughs> and now the DK is dropping dangerously low. 200 hit points. Yeah. Fourth Age is drinking his milkshake, essentially. <laughs> and this is... This is actually a really big problem for the undead as well. Missing that experience is huge. Because being that little bit farther from level 2 means it takes even longer before he finally gets that aura and can heal back up properly. Level 2 is everything. It gives you the healing ability, it gives you the speed to chase down headhunters. Without it, essentially, the undead player is just 
unable to really fight. Um, the bullying begins. Yeah, fourth age so trying to poke at that DK, take out the skellies when he can. There is an Arubian now. It's kind of in an awkward position, to be honest. The ziggurats in general are kind of awkward. They kind of block buildings from being made there. A player's I don't know. Are under a, lot of, a lot of the time on this map, you'll see the Narubian placed far forward as it cuts off access to walk in front of the base between the top and the bottom sides. But uh, yeah, I think things are still going well for fourth age. He's about to hit level two. And now he's going to have the chain lightning and online. He's going to have a bunch of headhunters. He's got so much damage. If he moves up to Creepjack against Bear here, this is just going to be an absolute disaster. Oh, looks like he will. And should be able to potentially chain secure this, but does the coil come out? Oh, actually just gets it with just the right clicks. DK, still no XP besides that first ogre. And this is very painful, a very rough start for Undead. And his DK having to run away. Does still have one charge of the Ritual Dagger when he can get back to his base, but really needs that aura. There's another reason why on this map the Fast Fiends can be such a strong build is you don't need to take these small camps, the greens. You can go straight for the shop. I have to... One sec. Timeout bump time. Okay there. Anyways. Oh, I'm time trying to cast. <laughs> He's trying to say inappropriate things in my chat. But yeah, we have tier three. Like the the one thing Bed does have going for him really is his tech, right? He's halfway to tier three already. Slaughterhouse gets destroyed though. And the no fiends, cancel. the lich, the, and the fiends are a little AFK in the back there. Could have been putting a little bit more damage onto these headhunters. He does have Nova. Finally using it here. We'll get one headhunter, maybe some wolves now. Fourth Age starting to feed quite a bit of XP here. I don't think this is really the fight he wants to be taking. And no, another, he's actually going to lose two headhunters. Yeah. I think this is where 4th Age was supposed to back off, go to the center, and pull the shop, probably. Rather than diving into the undead base. The Death Knight, however, still not level 2, but does have some good items to pass over to that Lich at some point. When you get this far ahead in the early game like you did, you really want to just back off secure level 3 on the pass here. And then with those level 2 wolves, the boss here can essentially solo the undead army while your secondary hero creeps. Yeah, wolves oh, are... Level two wolves. The wolves scale pretty well in terms of damage, for sure. Small health increase as well. Oh, and he loses a head under to creeps. Not watching that one too closely. But he should be able to get level 3 off this, I believe. However, I'm dead. Finally, level two himself. This is uh still rough for the undead though, not reaching anywhere near level three, and going the to funny be. Thing is, these timings, they're both of them are trying to hit anti timings, the point at which their opponent is strong and they are weak. Yeah. Oh, but the, the first here is a little cut out. Does have an invuln to use? Can pop a salve from his Shadow Hunter and the counter hex onto the DK does force the TP but the fiends are out of range can he block them okay they are in range by the end <laughs> really messy exchange there both sides getting extremely kind of kind of oh I mean I guess I don't even know what to say about that I guess both sides are just happy they didn't lose their hero well, TP for a greater involves not a not a bad trade. Could have yeah. lost some fiends, didn't end up losing them. Yeah. But as I said, these these are anti timings. When you attack the undead base, that was an anti timing. When you attack the orc base, it's an anti timing. Oh, raider! Fourth age needing to be a little bit more careful with his units while creeping. Should have had some 
wolves tanking there. Or maybe he did and they just died already. I didn't look too closely. But Sobe Mask is a pretty good pickup. Being able to spam the heal wave. Very powerful. Or potentially even a stomp later. Pass Such through. a good item on Shadow Hunter. Since he's not an intelligence hero by default, the int items aren't quite as good for him, but something like a Sobe Mask is just amazing. And then a greater mana for our undead player will also be extremely helpful for that death knight picking up an invuln for that bit of safety as well now that his tp is gone and force it for the age looking to potentially be aggressive again so and now they're both kind of hitting those power spikes i would say that without the third hero fourth age's power spike is a little bit less so I actually think Bear's got the advantage going into a, an engagement if they start to fight each other right now. Oh, the creeps! The creeps are waking up too! This is going to be a weird exchange. And the statue getting targeted immediately, you don't want to lose that. But the ensnare just secures well, that, and the next statue as well. Can Bear get it in position? There's no frost armor going out on it either. Pit Lord finally getting to work onto the headhunters. And this death knight is starting to smack away. Hex coming out on the lich. But... Oh, the de death, death knight still has plenty of mana, but he's in an awkward position. Might get hexed here. Still going for the pit lord instead, but now the death knight is the focused target. Dropping super low, cannot heal. No death pact yeah. or heal items available. And but... not use his mana either. Yeah, and the, the orc army is all dying, but I mean, can uh, does he have anything? I, I don't even know who this favors. What is this? I, I guess the undead, because they still have the orb available. There's almost a nova. There could be a hero kill coming. Yeah, Small there is a off heal just scroll this nova's available. Available, but oh, nova, nova. nova! Oh no. No heal scroll was used. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to get enough mana in time for like a hex and focus the pit lord, but he just really didn't have any units left. And even though Be lost his death knight, the army prevails with that the heavy lich damage. Look at that mantle, mantle, claw, orb. Ooh. A player's forces are under absolutely attack. brutal lich, just right clicking away, killing everything. And we see Destroyer form only just now being researched, which feels quite late, especially against Arseer. But we'll have it for the next fight. Well, unfortunately, he lost both of his statues, and so having Destroyer form was yeah. kind of irrelevant for a little while there. Oh. But yeah, now everything is coming, coming together for bed. They're going to have all the tech, they're gonna have the levels they need, and without an expansion, which is really what Fourth Age should have been prioritizing after hitting tier three, I feel like this is just gonna go Bear's way. And we see a little creep jack here. Only one Nova available though. And the Death Knight also not three yet, but should be able to reach it quite quickly. Nova on the raider, finally targeting it down. And taking out those raiders always crucial. You do not want to hear fiends or destroyers getting ensnared. You will clean up the camp, hit that level three, and now this undead army looking a lot scarier with those hero levels finally reaching three three two. Fourth age on the other hand. I think missed a few opportunities to just creep when he was, for instance, at you know, attacking into the undead base, and his hero level's not looking too great here. Would really like that Shadow 3, would like his TC to have at least level 2 with the aura available. Oh, another Raider's gonna go down for free. Fourth Age just not quite paying attention when he moves around the map. And I think we're seeing the death knells here for the veritable orc player. Yeah, and this is where those undead heroes can really start to shine when the army sizes are quite small and the value of statues replenishing mana can just constantly keep the undead heroes 
picking off units one by one and just never letting that orc army. <laughs> he realizes it as well. Knows he's been gifting too many raiders and probably a little disappointed in himself. But yeah, sometimes that happens. I'm sure we've all gifted our opponents units before. Wand of the wind on the ground. But yeah, these undead heroes. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Super strong. Ooh, Miss Coil on the Fiend. Might be able to take another Fiend out with a stomp, and so far a good start to the fight for our Orc player. The army size is still a little small, however, and these undead heroes really starting to go to town on the Berserkers now. They are having to run back. Wolves immediately taken care of. X coming out on the DK. Might see a stomp and then... Oh wait, no. No mana for a stomp. Pit Lord finally gets... healing potion pass, but... Doesn't, doesn't seem like it matters. These undead heroes are just walking over everything right now. Yeah. If it if the orc heroes could have been a little bit higher level, you know, maybe that aura unlocked, maybe level two stomp. But yeah, just too little here. He did have a lodge. I don't think I really ever commented on, but I don't think we really saw anything built from it either. No, no opportunity really. He just needed to bring Maximize to 50 food onto those headhunters. Will we see the, the Pit Lord go down? I, th I think it's over at this point. Yeah, I think right now he's just looking to try to kill something before leaving, but I don't think he's going to get that satisfaction. Oh. Make one error versus Undead and you lose. Made many. <laughs> Go into a match playing as Orc against Undead and you genuinely think you're at a disadvantage, that means you probably don't have any idea how the matchup should really be played. Yeah, it's definitely... I believe at the top level it seemed pretty even these days. Although the Undead definitely has to do some crazy things. But... Yeah. Usually... Especially at lower levels, I think the the advantage has always been somewhat in Orc's favor. Because it's just a mindset thing as well, I yeah. think, where like, if you... It, it, it indicates to me that, <clears throat> uh, uh, that you don't have the best understanding of how to win the matchup if, if you're going into something where traditionally you should be favored, but you feel disadvantaged. And that's often more important than any, any actual balance, right? It's like the player's understanding of the matchup. I think one thing that would be cool as well is if MMRs didn't actually show in these custom games. Because I believe there's actually a lot of players that I've casted so far in the league that get psyched out after they see their opponent's MMR. Yeah, yeah, it definitely happens. They're uh, like, oh, that 1500, I can never play yeah. against that. And like, just don't really. like like we designed the groups in a way that we felt people could still be competitive so we do believe fourth age can take games off of it but mm. you know sometimes they just get psyched out by the mmr i've seen it um i've seen it in a couple other instances as well and it's just well, the only players i beat this entire season were people the highest in the <laughs> players in my group yeah. and I lost to everyone else <laughs> oh. yeah like so, you took out Armin who was currently 150 or 200 MMR higher uh, Jedi took out Soulful who was 200 MMR higher at the time um, but then there's all the other cases like I believe Frozen Yeti versus Soulful uh, I believe Yeti saw his MMR and was like, yeah, this guy's reaching 1800 and just didn't, probably didn't feel confident against him. Uh, saw he was triggered after the match maybe a little, but when I watched the this match... Oh no, we're going to see it again? Oh my no. god. This time this is the why <laughs> you never coil unless it's a kill. Yeah. You don't, you don't use it like that where you're just coiling as you creep. Yeah. I think the first coil is fine, but the second coil needs yes. to be kept until yes, it actually yes. secures it. The first coil is to get your mana regenerating. The yeah. second coil is to finish the creep. And now we're just at like an absurd advantage since he got the skeleton as well. He's at 68 
EXP for fourth age. He's just diving in, hitting acolytes, and there's only two coils to save them. Oh. Does coil the acolyte, but even the coil on the acolyte is quite costly. You'd really like to save that mana if possible. Just let the acolyte regen instead. Does so have now we have a extremely dangerous situation for the undead player to be in. It's... Oh no, he misses another call. Now he's got no more. <laughs> that hurts so much. And I just checked. The orcs text actually faster than the undeads as well so far. Even yeah, though... Everything. Didn't he start? He started fast EK. And everything is going wrong. Still somehow his tech was behind and that's not where you want to be as the undead and you can't be running away when you've got four skellies like this yeah that means you have wasted your resources that's 75 gold on the field right in front of you you need to actually just commit and start hitting those headhunters with those skeletons we'll finally get one wolf but still so far away from level two and where does he creep after on this map there's the purge right. camp on the left or there's the Somewhat too difficult camps that have ensnare and are very risky with the orc nearby. Yeah, unfortunately, in the, the entire time I've ever played Warcraft 3, I've never seen a level 3 hero on this map, so I honestly can't <laughs> tell you where he should creep. Have you ever seen a level 3 hero on Autumn Leaves? <laughs> this map is definitely a little tricky. The The creep routes are... Um... Ooh, big damage, you can get the head under, oh. chase it down. Does have one coil, oh. does invest it on the head under. That is not a good coil to spend. I get he's trying to go for level two, but honestly, questionable. And I probably will pick up another rod good. now, right? Yeah. If you want to watch other games, you could always tune in to see the end of uh, oh. one, two, and Grinchy. Grinchy wearing a Grinchy hat right now. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Oh. Might see Forge commit a little too deep here, potentially, if Bed There's actually no turns. Nerubian. Yeah, no Nerubian, but there is three Fiends and two Skellies. I'm surprised he didn't just turn and try to get some of these wolf kills and then work on the Headhunters after. Once again, Fourth Age, I feel like he doesn't understand the power of Headhunters. Is that oh. they, they creep so fast. Aggro. Should be out there. I was hoping now, now they're, actually the aggro. E they're actually basically even on EXP. Fourth Age completely missing his opportunity to go and get a level 3 boss here. Yeah, he definitely had a really good start and then just. Mm -hmm. he needs to work on his creeping, I guess. Or awareness on like the game state type of thing. Here we go, this is a good decision. He's going to take the shop away, he's going to start creeping. The medium-sized camps that are near Bear's base, but unfortunately he's waited so long. The undead player now has three fiends and skeletons, so their creeping speed's not actually that different. Yeah. Like it should be, but it's not. Now we have TC on the way second. Not going to be the Shadow, shadow Hunter this time. Bit of a deviation yeah, there. Interesting play from both sides. I, I feel that Bear should probably go for the Dark Ranger this oh. game. Oh, oh it's the Lich already. Nova. Mm. Nova not hitting One everything, hit. but yeah. doing pretty decent. But oh, the, no, lich the Lich is in misposition. Chain Lightning stomp and he just dies. Another Headhunter will fall, but can we get a Fiend as well? Maybe with some right clicks from the Farseer. Coil does come out to save that. I mean, technically, two headhunters cost more gold than a level one lich. Technically. Yeah, it's definitely not. I want to say really favoring particularly either side. Oh, stomp, not getting a lot of value there at all. And now the TC. This headhunt on a mana. The, the headhunter count is so low, and there's no level three farseer. I I don't get these little skirmishes. Fourth age. Maybe when, when he feels like, you know, the undead has the advantage, it's, it's things like this where you have to get a level 3 Farseer, and well, then you have to creep your attack. second hero. You can't, like, if you're going TC second, you should not be fighting in your opponent's face. Yeah, for sure. Uh, with if with the Shadow Hunter, it makes a little bit more sense, because you can definitely catch them off guard with that, that first X coming out. 
But yes, with TC, yeah. you really just need the levels. You need that aura, you need that higher level stomp. And, and in need both your... cases, you absolutely need a level 3 Farseer. Yeah, that is also one thing severely lacking so far. Just not finding the right time where he should be stopping his harass and instead just stealing camps from the undead side. Now we might have a little skirmish in the middle. Do they see each other? Or are they just going to pass by? Orb is picked up on the DK, bringing it back to the Lich. Could go for the Pit Lord in the middle, but doesn't have the ziggurats. Can't actually grab that next extra hero. Oh, TC trying to get in position. We'll Might be able game. to get a fiend here if he wants to turn on that. Does invest the stomp. Will there be a coil? There is a coil. Only level one coil though, so that fiend is still half health. Can he block it? Could come in. Oh, might be able to just get it with a chain, or even just right clicks. Okay, I think the right click might have been enough from the headhunter, but chain will secure it. These are two O headhunters already, and berserker form now being started. With the burrow finishing, should see the potential third hero shadow hunter coming in as well. Same for the undead side with the ziggurat finishing. With this orb, that's actually a lot of damage now. Could see Bed pick up his third hero at the center and really fight this, but he's just wanting to back off instead. However, the Lich he does is. get ensnared. Stomp! There's no coils! Does he pass the TP? No, pass the TP! The Lich is going to fall! However, there is no more raiders, so the fiends will be able to back off smoothly. Oh, I will point out once again, a raider costs more than a level 1 lich, but the <laughs> EXP... Yeah, and also... The EXP is handing over is huge. Yeah, the EXP, and also now 4th Age finally doing what he needs to do, which is, is creeping immediately after, taking the huge mid-camp. Oh Still not getting a level 3 Farseer. <laughs> yeah, he might come back and steal... Yeah, it looks like he's bringing the Farseer back now. To take one on of 31 oh. hit points. Oh no... He really doesn't watch his uh, his units as much when they are creeping. Maybe that's his timing for his macro, but you really got to be careful sometimes not to lose too much there. And B going into the orc base. The TC is low health right now, which could be risky coming oh, into this level fight. Three, DK. And yeah, DK picks off two peons and there's no fortified. These burrows are going to fall. He can take out three and then TP. And three burrows down. Get this, too. this is a huge supply block. Yeah, at least He's two. He's gonna TP right after this one dies. Yeah, okay, yeah. The DK, a little too low to stick around. Still though, oh. two peons, two burrows. That's pretty significant. Yeah. And fourth Age's wood economy isn't too amazing either, so there's potential there could be wood problems in the future. It, it's okay right now though. Oh, welcome to the the people who were watching the Wantu stream. Can I ask a question? If Wantu's still here, Wantu stream when? <laughs> yeah, Wantu stream when? I think this game is is looking a lot better for Fourth Age than the first one. But if Beck can still get it together and get the army he wants, it's it's gonna be pretty rough. Fourth Age looking to be aggressive once again. Interesting choice after he just lost his burrows. But he does end up getting a slaughter. Might even get a statue if Bed lets him get away with it. Three statue kill, destroyer not doing anything. Oh, and the DK could get stomped here. Voltage. Needs to be careful with that DK up front. Does have an invuln and a heal potion, but stomp will nullify that if it's a timely stomp. Oh, the stomp. Oh, okay. <laughs> Does get the invuln off in time, but the Lich now focused. Oh, Miss Coil! Oh. Miss Coil on the fiend! Does still have a heal scroll available, which could get decent value here. But the DK a is caught of, out. Hex. A lot of deep diving into the undead base happening oh. though. Who's gonna actually. Oh! The damage on the headhunters takes out the DK. But oh my, oh. no XP for the TC kill, but he does get the TC kill. But the Lich also falls. Everything's dying. Bed does still have a huge army, but 
Can he tuck away in his base well enough and wait for his heroes to get back? Another fiend picked off from the hex. I didn't even see, did he use the mana stone on the Farseer? Yeah, he did, to get extra wolves and chain lightning out. And there's a ghoul going towards the tavern, it will probably, presumably buy back the DK. Yeah. I mean, Fourth Age is walking away with a very small army, so it's actually... They might buy back the, the uh, Lich instead, and just summon the DK since he's already a third done. But he needs to be careful not to get caught out here. That Lich would have been nearly level 3 except for the Hex. Yeah. So uh, when I remake this game later on in my career, when I get become a millionaire, <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is remove the fact that Hexed units do not earn EXP. <laughs> and here I thought okay. it might just be removing the works oh, altogether, jack. but... The creep jack. this oh. is... So there bad. is a Hex and an Ensnare available. Going for the Lich, should be able to get it with the Hex. The Lich no is DK dead. available. Still a healthy Fiend count, but you know, it's hard for the, these Fiends to do much without heroes. Death Knight only just now going to be popping in a couple seconds. Fourth Age looking to put Order pressure. House, just restarted. Fourth Age is putting a lot of pressure on, but he's not securing the game. No expansion coming up quite yet, which means that Bear is going to remain in the game if it can go long enough. Yeah, I do think that would have been a wise choice by Fourth Age to set up an expo. Maybe even purchase a, a cancel his two things building right now and purchase a tiny on his TC. Yeah, that would have been an excellent idea. Really he's trying to prioritize that. Oh, he's just buying potions. Not going to be the tiny. It's a critical mistake, I think, when orc players don't see the value in tiny great hall. This game still heavily into Fourth Age's favor, but it's not as guaranteed as if he had just picked up that tiny great hall, got an instant expansion going. Two minutes later, he'd be ahead of the opponent. Yeah, especially with Be having his uh, slaughterhouse so late to come back up again. And that's probably why he's had just this huge, huge mass of fiends. Because he can't even build statues. Oh no, Be has to be careful with the creeps too. He's pulling a fourth age. He lost a fiend. The creeps are killing a lot. Talisman of... Oh no, the lich is caught out. There's no... Oh wait, there is a TP. He could coil... But Big he needed to TP yeah. immediately. Might have to do another coil and then TP. But the Lich dies too quickly. The chain stomp focus fire is so strong. It's actually and just going to GG out. This will go to a, a game three. Fourth age taking it this time. Yeah, we will have a game three here. Score is one to one. Bit. Once again, going for the fast DK build, not going to change it up. And I assume we will see the same from Fourth Age with his Farseer Headhunters. Yep, we're going to see probably a repeat of everything that we saw in the first five minutes of Game 1 and Game 2, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, likely some aggressive play from Fourth Age. Question is, does he try to snag more of these creeps? I feel like he might be more tempted to snag like the turtle creep on this map, with it being so easily and readily available next to the base. I feel like on some of the other maps, maybe he just didn't um, feel comfortable walking that far away from the undead base, but maybe he'll actually snag some of these ones with them being so close in proximity. Oh, interesting. Sorry, it's unrelated to the game. Big <laughs> news in my actual work industry this morning would be support from the local government for the video games industry in my state. Yay! Maybe I'll be able to make Warcraft 3 in like 20 years instead of when I'm actually dying. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> back to mm -hmm. the game. What do we I are mean? seeing, as you suspected, identical builds. 
I think this is a map where you really should get level two on your frost here before you come across. Like, can you even make it in time to deny the first creep, the big creep? Um, from him getting the item, no, I don't think you should be able to stop him from getting the item. But you can stop him from finishing the creep if he's only using DK. But he should be able to get the ogre, especially if he's investing two coils like he has been the previous games. The second coil timing, will he change it this game though? Oh, and 4th Age actually going for creeping this time, not going for the direct harass. So he is going to change it up a little. This will allow Bet to get a couple more creeps here before having to deal with the harass. But it will also allow the Farseer to, you know, be two thirds of the way to level two himself. Players' forces are under attack. So the game is actually playing out in a lot more meta way this game. Uh, this this time with the DK able to creep that whole first camp. He's going to get his level two. Fourth Age's creep route, on the other hand, it kind of leaves something to be desired. I'm not sure what's happening here. Yeah, I thought he would go and harass right after and prevent the DK from reaching two. But now he's heading across to the other Murloc camp, maybe? Very interesting choice. Or he's going to the undead base, but he's going to be way too late to do anything because he, he wandered all the way through the middle and around. Yeah, a bit indecisive there. And it feels I like a mistake. It feels like a misread where he thought the undead would go to the turtle first and then the orange. Turtle's actually a hotter camp than the orange. Yeah, because of uh, spiked carapace on melee heroes can... Uh, do a lot of return damage. Plus they have two normal damage small turtles, I believe. They can deal out quite a lot. And we will have a little engagement here. Nothing is ensnared, so the headhunters should be able to run away. But a wolf might be fed over. A little bit of XP there. And coiled in time. Next wolf also goes down. A couple skellies, or one skelly going down. And Bit, happy with taking the two wolves, just going to back off. Likely pick up yeah, another rod. Level two and a half and regening away thanks to that unholy aura. Everything's going Bit's way right now. And with his resource count, should be able to purchase second hero and tech right away. As well. As well. Once he reaches think, tier 2 soon. I hope we see the Pit Lord this game. I feel like that was very lacking last game. Just by having three heroes, you kind of force the Orc player to be a little bit more uh, thoughtful in how they're going to hero focus. When you have just the DK and the Lich, it's so easy for them to just pick one off and then, you know, your whole strategy falls apart. Yeah, I was surprised with that one timing. He was... Bit was actually in the center of the map alongside 4th Age, next to the tavern, and he had an opportunity when his ziggurat finished to pick up that third hero, but he just never did, instead just backing off. They're actually going to trade the shops away right now. And once again, looking at the bases, there is no Nerubian in Bez base. If this is, if this is a timing to jump into the base, 4th Age could do a lot here, like crippling damage. There is no speed but, scroll, but it can you can you don't really need the speed scroll if there's you know no Nerubian and the main's mid tech you can actually just walk into that. Thanks to that wolf kill earlier, it's also level three now for Bear. Should he? Oh, I mean, this is he might go the for some burrows now. This is where you wish you had a dark ranger though. Like, I mean, he's just got yeah. his pain. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. He will be able to put some damage on a burrow, but it should be repaired just fine. Slow reactions though, fourth age creep in that camp. Only yeah. just now sending the, the peons over. I think it, the burrow's gonna go down. Yeah, if he looks to finish this whole camp, it's it's too late. The burrow just instantly goes down. And Bit, okay. comfortable burn. with that, just backs off. 
And now he can't get anything out of the bestiary. No raider to come. But he can... He's also got no, no lumber at 48, so can't get the research going either. Surprised he didn't uh, drop his other sentry directly in the base. See the state of what the orc is doing. But as bad as things have gone with the burrow, I do have to say that it's a level three farseer. It's level two wolves. The TC is out. Oh, there's no shot, so that's pretty attack. disastrous. But he can right now if he wanted to. He could be aggressive. He could creep. He can do whatever he wants. He's just kind of like being very passive. He really prioritizes that headhunter damage, and that is a lot of wood invested as well. 300 wood, but he does have Look. two damage upgrades. He just saw that there's a bunch of fiends here that are all poisoned and damaged and a half tail DK, and he decided to back off. I wonder, I wonder if he wasn't paying attention too closely and didn't really see it. That would have been a probably... disaster, Creepjack. Even without mm. a speed scroll. Yeah, bet getting away with quite a lot here. A player's forces are under attack. Having his lich already over halfway to two, DK of course has been three. TC finally going to start leveling, but there's a lack of camps on this side of the map anymore. I'm going to have to go for red camps next. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused about what's happening in this game. Both players are showing. Just kind of like willing to trade off creep camps on each side of the map. And it's it's a sure completely exactly different style from the previous two. The previous two were like hyper aggressive from both sides. You know, like when when 4th H finally would back off of Bet, Bet would charge over to his side of the map and go into his base. And now this time they're both just kind of just kind of creeping, getting those levels. Oh, wolf runs by and bit finds the headhunters this is a nasty creep jack fourth age going to tp immediately but his units are out of range oh my the tc the headhunters we should have oh, another is... nova now <laughs> what a way to end the series uh, that is extremely painful three headhunters three headhunters and a tp lost what a oh. brutal Brutal timing here, and now it's 45 supply. Bear picks up the pit lord, 50 food, has the orb, has the timing. Doesn't have the levels, but you don't need the levels when your opponent doesn't have any levels. And and having th level 3 DK is sometimes enough in itself, especially with the lack of blade master and melee units these days, not requiring frost armor plus nova. Fourth age, absolutely. In a terrible spot right now. I'm not sure how he's ever going to hold this. With double statue, huge amount of regeneration, more ziggurats coming behind it, tons of fiends and destroyer on create, I believe, researched. He has it's double uh, inborn, double heal scroll, but if Bed just focuses down the headhunters one by one, might not get a lot of value out of those. Wolves doing quite a bit. Of, I mean, he does a lot of damage with these 2 0 headhunters and decent stop. Ruthless headhunter damage, as you said, but he did use the Berserker effect on them, so now they're also taking a lot of damage. Yeah, I believe that's two like 25% extra damage, right? You know, two fiends for two headhunters, though. Like, I'll take this trade every day if I'm fourth page. I think this is actually going as well as he could possibly hope. There's too many raiders. Three raiders, no Kodo. Uh, no third hero either. We do not see a Shadow Hunter coming out. No Hex or Heal Wave available. Yeah, the DPS of Fourth Age's army is just too low right now with all these raiders. And there's a lot of good control, but if you don't have any damage to back it up with. Oh, uses the coil, and now we could actually see the pit go down. Oh. Is it going to happen? Three, two, oh, one. Oh, he gets away. Four. He's blocked. Going to switch focus to the fiends now, but. His whole army is dying in the meantime. And Much we... better micro from bed this game. He's actually controlling everything really well. Maximizing his use, but statue oh. can't be foiled. Taking out those statues always pretty crucial, especially just preventing potential destroyers and letting the wolves run rampant. And Huge now, sustain. working on these fiends, like a lot of this undead army is dying. Where Where is Bez's army? His... Hitlord's not attacking it as much as it should. 
finally working on that farce. Oh, and he just dies instantly before the invuln can come off. And now the Big TC's is left fire. alone. And fourth age is about to type some very unsavory <laughs> things about undead before uh, leaving the game. When in doubt, Quail Nova. Right click that hero. Get him out of the game. He did a great job focusing those statues, killing the sustain of the undead player, but yeah. for just not able to keep his fast here alive. Where is the shop in Fourth Age of Space? Where was the shop? Yeah, honestly, no shop ever made this game. But, you, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, Fourth Age. But There's honestly, things... honestly, Fourth Age put up a good fight in this final fight for how bad of a situation it was. You know, he, he oh, literally yeah. lost three headhunters. He didn't have access to a voodoo lounge, so he couldn't be popping potions mid-fight. It's just... He does have to stop using this berserk ability, though, man. It's killing him. Yeah, it, it's the type of thing where you want to use it, like, right after a stomp goes off and, like, prevents anything from attacking. Or, like, when you're chasing and ensnared stuff. <laughs> a little bit of salt in the chat. <laughs> Could use the F1 key there from Bear. Alright. Good luck in the finals of this call. Bear will make it through. And he will be the facing... grand finale of Group J. And he will be facing Mr. Bounce in the finals, who was the other top seed. And I think Mr. Bounce I didn't see too many of his games, I believe, but it sounds like most people have considered him to be a little bit of a cheeser. The one series I did see, he went like Fire Lord instant tower push on Amazonia and you know that sort of thing. So I mean we'll we'll see how Bed does. Undead definitely can do pretty well against cheese type of play. <laughs> 